this is how you would handle a field service in Odoo. So we're going to go to our sales order. We're going to create a quote. We'll add the customer. And then we can add our field service and our products we're going to use. Say so we need two of these. We are estimating from the start. Um, and then then we can have a product called overhead to account for the overhead on this project. Uh, we can specify a price on the product as well. So then from here, we can save if there's any products that are going to be entered uh, from a company credit card, we could add those as well. So say the technician is going to purchase um, hotel accommodation, we could do that. The other way we could do it is once this quote is saved and say it is confirmed, the customer comes and adds our PO. Let's just say uh, this was the PO, this random file here. Then we can confirm it, or they can confirm it through the portal. Once it's confirmed, it automatically will create that field service task. And when we go into it, uh, we can manually add in our time here. So if we want to add in, say, a Mitchell admin uh, checked with Caliper, and say they spent 30 minutes doing that, then we see that, oops, that's 30 hours, 30 minutes. And we can save that there and it'll update that. Then we see over here in our products, um, the products that we actually specified in the first place. Um, and then as well, if say a or say the technician adds, um, say for example, just they add this office chair, then that updates the uh, products over here. And then when we go to the sales order, it adds that as well. So then we go to expenses. We can create an expense report. Just say that chair. Specify the product. office chair and then we can let that comp or employee get reimbursed if they don't need to be reimbursed and that's going to go to your uh, bank account anyway then all you would have to do is like I showed you in the first section all we would have to do is go to our project here, our field service, and click in the project or the uh, items here that we were purchasing. And if they don't exist yet, you could easily just add in the product here with the price. I hope that uh, adds some clarification. And if you have any questions, please contact me at cka at odoo.com.